Good evening. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Um, fine. Okay. So can I see your face? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Oh, hi. Good evening. Okay. Okay. So, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine today. Yeah, how old are you? I'm 14. Wow, you're 14. Okay. You are probably grade 8? Yes. Okay. So, by the way, my name is Teacher Anne. You can call me. Okay, here. I just changed my name. Okay. So, my name is Teacher Anne. Sorry. Anne. Oh, there's something okay. I want to say too. Yeah. My name is Teacher Anne. Okay. okay. I am... I came from the Philippines. Okay, you know where Philippines is? You know where Philippines is? Maybe yes. Oh, yeah, Philippines. I, uh, I'm not really good at geography. Okay, so I came from the Philippines and I am, uh, I am a secondary teacher in the Philippines. Right now, here, I am teaching grade 8 like you and grade 7. Oh. Grade 7, grade 8, and grade 9. In the Philippines, I am an English teacher. And then I am teaching, yeah, grade 8. So uh, I am asked to have a class with you, to have a demo. Okay, so I guess you, uh, the Pantaro said, you are very good in grammar already. Wow. No. That's no, no, good. No, 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 I'm not really good at English. Oh, uh, yeah, but, but you speak English straight that's very good of you wow really? yeah I, many of uh, my teachers said that i'm very really, i'm really bad i shouldn't study english anymore no 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 i hate it yeah i can see you know i am an english teacher that in our school in the philippines we keep on talking english every day yeah so i can see you're very good look at you okay you speak well that's good Okay, so how will I call you, by the way? Your name is? My name is Hyo. You oh, can just you call have, me Hyo. Do you have like English Hyo. name or no? I don't have an English name. That's all Kyo. Kyo. Yes, like that. Yeah, okay. So I am Teacher Anne and you are Kyo. It's nice meeting you. So before we start, I would like to have you. How was your day today? My day... I have two tests today. Oh, and then? Quite tired? Yes, I'm really tired. Oh, you're and really I tired. Have, I, have, I have literature tests. Oh. I didn't do well enough. My God. Oh, yeah. I am teaching literature. Okay. Literature is a oh. very nice subject. Of course. I am teaching that. That's my subject. <laughs> That's my subject. And then oh it God. talks. Yeah. It talks more about stories. It's very nice. Like I'm really struggling with this subject right now. Oh, you know. <laughs> really? That's very good. Cute. That's a very <laughs> like, nice subject. Like every lesson is very long. Like very long and I couldn't remember all the things I've studied. Yeah, so yeah, because mostly when you see literature, you have a lot of things to understand. You have a lot of things to remember because it's most stories. It's very long. Yeah, very long. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's literature. Okay, that's my favorite subject because I am the teacher. <laughs> okay. But like in, in our country, this. It's not many people who really like literature. Yeah, of course. It's I not understand. many people who take a liking to it. Yes, of course. I understand. Because mostly in Vietnam, only few of students really speak English well, right? Lucky you are. Yes. You're very good. You're, you're speaking straight. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate so that. That. yeah of course. So now we're going to have pet. So do you have idea what is in pet? It's, what is that? Yeah, in pet actually is here. So we have here, it's actually a test in which you will be tested with listening, reading and writing and speaking. 
Okay, okay. See you, Vincent. No, it's, 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 it's one, this one thing. Ah, I, okay. Don't I worry. have to say that I, I really hate listening. Ah, okay. No, no, no. I really hate writing too. Ah, I also okay. hate speaking. <laughs> I also hate reading. I hate both. Of them. <laughs> okay, but the Pantado told me that okay, this kid. Okay, I will read it here. This kid really know how to speak English. Okay, yeah, you are very good in grammar here. Uh, hmm? The kids is uh, you focus on communications because you already have the IELTS. That's six point five. No, 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 no. And the, what? And the grammar is very good. You're very good in grammar. I, I, I don't have IELTS. I don't have IELTS. Ah, I, no. I, did, I, I, did, I didn't. Maybe it's wrong. <laughs> okay. But anyway. No, it's my brother. It's yeah, my brother no. who gets 6.5. Uh -huh. ah, it's your brother. Okay. But I can see the way you communicate. Very good. Q. Really true. Yes. Yes. Because I have a lot of students here in Vietnam. Uh, yeah, in Vietnamese. <laughs> I've got 13. Ah, so sorry. 14 students here. And you've got very good. You speak straight. And it seems that your English is natural. Wow. Where did you learn it? I, I don't know. It was like when I was five, my mom took me to a center to study English. Wow. You must be very proud. And you must be thankful to your mom. But but really, my speaking is so, so bad. Oh, no, when, no. When, when I speak in front of a foreigner, I was just like, oh, oh what am I going to say? What am I going to say? <laughs> I always panic. You know, <laughs> because, <laughs> no, actually, teacher understand your, what's that? The, the way how you pronounce, the way how you enunciate the words. It's quite, it's natural. It's just like you're a Filipino. <laughs> Filipino speak like that. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, Filipino. You look at teacher and how teacher <coughs> and speak. Okay. But mostly in the foreigner, if you're okay, if you're facing, if you're talking to the foreigner, it seems that you really can't understand them because they speak so fast and so slow, right? Some of the words is really hard to comprehend. So you are speaking like a Filipino. The way teacher and yes. talk like that, okay? The, the, very, the teachers. very natural. Wow. I can't assess your speaking now because teacher and will going to assess you in how you speak. I have to do the written assessment after this one. So that's why teacher is keep on talking to you. Okay. So now we have here yeah. the listening, okay? You have to listen it carefully. Don't worry. This is not to. I know you're very good at this. I trust you. Okay, so we have here seven questions, and for each questions, there are three pictures and a short recording. So you have to choose A, B, or C. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I need to get a pen and a paper. Oh, this. Okay. Wow. I hope you will be my student. Mm. <laughs> okay. So I hope you enjoy you you enroll in Pantado. Okay, after this, you can try. You will change your mind. Okay, teacher Ann said, I have to enroll in Pantado. Okay? Okay. So now here, listen. Okay, this is actually uh, the example. So all you have to do is just to listen and check or think if what is the correct answer. Okay, listen please. This looks now really familiar to, to me. Oh. Listen carefully. It's okay. You will hear each recording twice. One. What was in the woman's bag? Here, number one. Was there anything valuable in the bag that was stolen, madam? Yes. It had my purse in it and my keys. Anything else? Well, luckily I was wearing my glasses, so no, nothing else. Now listen again. Was there anything valuable in the bag that was stolen, madam? Yes. It had my purse in it and my keys. Anything else? Well, luckily I was wearing my glasses, so no, nothing else. Two. Which film is the man talking about? I'm sure I've seen this film before. 
That bit where she's standing on the bridge watching the sunset reminded me. Now listen again. I'm sure I've seen this film before. That bit where she's standing on the bridge watching the sunset reminded me. Three. What should the woman do first? Well, you put the washing powder in the machine. Is that before or after you put the clothes in? Oh, it's after you put them in. And then remember to switch it on at the wall when you're ready. Now listen again. Well, you put the washing powder in the machine. Is that before or after you put the clothes in? Oh, it's after you put them in. And then remember to switch it on at the wall when you're ready. Four. What is David going to do this weekend? Could you help me paint my flat this weekend, David? Oh, sorry. I'm going sailing. I decided to enjoy myself for a change. I spent last weekend helping my mum do her garden, and I need to repair the car next weekend. Now listen again. Could you help me paint my flat this weekend, David? Oh, sorry. I'm going sailing. I decided to enjoy myself for a change. I spent last weekend helping my mum do her garden, and I need to repair the car next weekend. Five. How did the man get to work today? Sorry I'm late. I never know whether to take the underground or drive. I was held up in a traffic jam for half an hour, and then, when I got to work, the car park was full. I think I'll have to move nearer so I can walk or use my bike. Now listen again. Sorry I'm late. I never know whether to take the underground or drive. I was held up in a traffic jam for half an hour, and then, when I got to work, the car park was full. I think I'll have to move nearer so I can walk or use my bike. Six. Which tie does the man choose? Which tie shall I wear for the interview? Do you think my blue silk one would look all right? A bit boring. I'd wear something with a small pattern. Squares or spots. Something like that. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll wear the plain one. Now listen again. Which tie shall I wear for the interview? Do you think my blue silk one would look all right? A bit boring. I'd wear something with a small pattern. Squares or spots. Something like that. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll wear the plain one. Seven. What time is the appointment? Dr. Brown's clinic. Can I help you? Yes. Can I have an appointment to see the doctor, please? Well, he's free at quarter past eleven today, or tomorrow at quarter past ten, or five to two. I'll come tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. Now listen again. Dr. Brown's clinic, can I help you? Yes. Can I have an appointment to see the doctor, please? Well, he's free at quarter past eleven today, or tomorrow at quarter past ten, or five to two. I'll come tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. That is the end of part one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I will ask, I will ask what is the answer. So teacher can check it and I can give you the assessment later after the demo. Okay, so number one, what's your answer? Eh? 
I choose choose B. Okay, two. Uh, A. Okay, three. And three C. Okay, four. Four B. And five. Five A. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, which film is the man talking about? It's letter B. B. Okay. Oh my god, that's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. I thought it was the okay, picture it's okay. A. The sun was set. Yeah, and... because as you can see oh. here, A, B, and C, the pictures, they just, uh, they just look like the same. Looks really like the same. Okay. Now, number three, what do you think is your answer? It's okay. No problem. What's the answer for number uh, three? C. Letter C, teacher. Very good. Number four, what is David going to do this weekend? B. Letter B, selling. Very good. Okay, number five. How did A. the man get to work today? I told ah, you. Yeah, very good. And number six, which tie does the man choose? C. Of course. He wants to choose the plain one. Okay, very good. And number seven. This is the hard one. <laughs> this is the hard one because you have to look at the clock. Okay, what do you because, think? Because I'm not too good at time telling. <laughs> it's okay, go. Uh, seven A. Yeah, A, teacher. Oh, it's letter C. C. Look at it's okay. So you've got. Five over seven. Oh, that's great. Okay, next one. Let's move to next. Okay, so for 20 and 25, you have to look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between the girl, Jane, and her brother, Michael, about a Spanish family who are coming to visit them in England. Okay, they have a visitor, Spanish family. This side, you will have to say correct or incorrect. You will write A, look at here, Q, A for yes if it's correct, B if it's not correct, okay? So A and B only. A, correct, B, not correct, okay? Listen. Now turn to part four. Questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a girl, Jane, and her brother, Michael, about a Spanish family who are coming to visit them in England. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A, a for yes. yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part 4. Okay, let's move here. Let's... Ice. You will hear the recording twice. Okay, go! You can do Michael. it! You know that Spanish family Mum and Dad met in Spain last year? Yeah, the Sanchez family. That's right. Anyway, they're coming to stay next month. They haven't been to England before, so Mum wants us to help plan a really good week for them. Can we give her some suggestions? Well, they must spend a day in London seeing the famous places like um, Buckingham Palace and the Tower of London. Perhaps they could go on one of those open-top buses and see everything from there. Oh, that's a great idea. Do you think the children will like that? How old are they? One's twelve and the other's nine. Oh, that should be okay then. What about a trip to the car museum at Bewley on another day? Oh, no. I found that car museum so boring. I don't think any of them would like that. Well, I think most people find museums boring. But it's what people do when they visit another country, isn't it? Not necessarily. They might want to do more outdoor activities or, or perhaps go to some shows or plays or something. I know. There's a big open-air pop and jazz festival in Southampton. Do you think they'd like that? That sounds better. What about taking the kids windsurfing as well? 
I think they might enjoy that, don't you? Fine. And what about tennis? Do you think we could still get tickets for the open tennis competition in Bournemouth? There are some famous players there this year. I'm sure we could, but I wonder if the family like tennis. I don't know. So let's just write a list of all the things they could do, then get Mum to phone Mrs. Sanchez tonight. The family can talk it over and then phone back if we need to book anything. Brilliant! Let's start the list. Okay. Second one. Now listen again. Listen again. Michael, you know that Spanish family Mum and Dad met in Spain last year? Yeah, the Sanchez family. That's right. Anyway, they're coming to stay next month. They haven't been to England before, so Mum wants us to help plan a really good week for them. Can we give her some suggestions? Well, they must spend a day in London seeing the famous places like um, Buckingham Palace and the Tower of London. Perhaps they could go on one of those open-top buses and see everything from there. Oh, that's a great idea. Do you think the children will like that? How old are they? One's twelve and the other's nine. Oh, that should be okay then. What about a trip to the car museum at Bewley on another day? Oh, no. I found that car museum so boring. I don't think any of them would like that. Well, I think most people find museums boring. But it's what people do when they visit another country, isn't it? Not necessarily. They might want to do more outdoor activities or, or perhaps go to some shows or plays or something. I know. There's a big open-air pop and jazz festival in Southampton. Do you think they'd like that? That sounds better. What about taking the kids windsurfing as well? I think they might enjoy that, don't you? Fine. And what about tennis? Do you think we could still get tickets for the open tennis competition in Bournemouth? There are some famous players there this year. I'm sure we could, but I wonder if the family like tennis. I don't know. So let's just write a list of all the things they could do, then get Mum to phone Mrs. Sanchez tonight. The family can talk it over and then phone back if we need to book anything. Brilliant. Let's start the list. OK. Okay, that first, is the end of part four. Number 20. So we have here, you will just say yes or no, okay? So this will be the Sanchez family's first trip to England. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes, teacher. Very good. Okay. Michael suggests sightseeing in London. Yes. Yes, okay, three. The Sanchez children are teenagers. Wait, I have a question. Yeah. How old is a teenager? Okay, it's there. Teenagers could probably 10 to 10 because it mentioned is nine, right? Have you heard? It yes. mentioned nine, but most probably if there is a teenager that's nine and 12 or nine and 14. So what do you think? Do you think it's teenager? That's nine is grade three. So what will be? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's okay. It's okay to get wrong. Don't worry, Q. <laughs> Don't worry. Teacher, uh, teacher Anne will not bite you. Don't worry. B. Okay, letter B. Yeah, very good. Oh of God. course. Yeah, I because. Will put her yeah, it's okay because there is nine years old and nine is not in Asia yet. It's nine. Okay. So Jane has been to the car museum? Uh, yes. Okay. Very good. Wow, Q, very uh, good. Michael thinks everyone. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, Michael thinks everyone enjoys visiting the museum. What is that? B. Letter B. Yes, of course. Some of them, they don't enjoy going to the museum like Jane. Jane doesn't like it there. How about Jane and Michael oh. have bought tickets oh. for the tennis competitions? Uh, B. Letter B. What is that ticket for? 
I don't remember. <laughs> okay, the ticket was... is not actually for tennis competition, right? It's for something else, for another game. I also forgot the game. Okay, but wow, very good, perfect score. Okay, two for that's, six. Uh, that's six over that's just six. Not lucky. Oh, it's not lucky because he heard it. It means you have a very what is that? It means. Q, you have a good ear in speaking. Okay, I know, in listening. Okay, next one here. Okay, you listen this. This is reading and writing. Okay. So here, all you have to do is to do like this. There is some sort here, a text inside the box. And you will have to tell me what is it means or what the text inside the box mean, okay? Like this one, okay, the answer is letter A. Do not leave your bicycle touching the window, okay? So as you can see in the box, no bicycle against glass, please, okay? So it means do not leave your bicycle touching the window, okay? That's it. So try to let your mind, your brain work on this. You need to have a better comprehension. Okay, go Q, you can do it. Okay, here. Okay, let's start this. You read carefully, just read it by yourselves and then tell me the answer after. You just tell teacher I'm okay, okay? Parking in this space for doctor on duty only. What does it mean? B. A letter B. Only the doctor working today can park here. Park in this space only in an emergency. Tell the doctor if you need to park here. Okay, that's your answer is letter B. That's also my answer. That's teacher Ann's answer. Okay, let's see if we are correct. Wow. Oh, wait, wait for a while. Okay, wait. Why that bit? Yes, very good. We are correct. Okay. How about number two? This is this letter is for Heidi from Ruth. B. Okay, letter B, teacher. Oh, very good. Of course, Ruth wants Heidi to help her find employment. Good job. Yay. Next one. Okay, number three. Look at here, number three. Three, warning. Security cameras in use around this building. Or C. Of course, it's letter. Letter? C. C. Yes. Very good. Of course, when we say warning, security cameras in use around this building. So it means from the word around. So it means this building is guarded by cameras. Okay. Number four. C. Okay, what's this? Letter? C, C, C. Letter C, teacher. Okay, very good. Again, Q. Next, number five. 5A. Five 5A. Five we have many flats available to rent in this area. So, what's that? Yeah, very good. We offer choice of flats to rent in this area. Good job, Q. Yay. Okay. Wow. Perfect again. Five over five. Okay. Who told you you're not smart? You are smart. Wow. Good job. Oh, don't say no. Teacher Ann said that. Okay. 21 to I 25. Just, I, yeah. Why? I, uh, I just want to go four out of 10 pronunciation. Oh, okay. So 21 to 25. You look at this one, you have to write the text and questions below. Okay, for each questions, you will have to mark the correct letter A, B, C, or D, okay? 
Okay, but before that, we have here some words. Okay, how about you turn your stomach? What is that? What does that mean? Do you, are you familiar with this? You turn no. your stomach. So it means you make you feel upset. You're sick. You're disgusted. When I say, oh my God, Q, I turn my stomach. It's just like I'm not feeling good today. So what does this mean? So it means teacher is sick. Okay, you understand? Yeah. Another exceptional. So when I say, oh my God, Q, you're such an exceptional student. So what is that? You're an exceptional student. You are outstanding. outstanding. You know the word outstanding? You know that word? Yes. Yeah, outstanding. Exceptional. Okay. It's opposite. It's opposite of unexceptional. So it means you're not outstanding. Okay. And by the way, this word exceptional is adjective. Okay. This is an adjective. It describes you. It describes teacher. It describes someone else. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Yes. Great job. Okay. Now here, you have to tell me. Oh, my God, teacher. Okay. Here. Okay. So this one, look at here, Q. You have to widen your comprehension and your retention skills here. So you have to read that one and then after what? You have to answer the activity. Okay? Okay. So teacher Anne will help you read. You read first and I will read and you read. Okay? Number one, you read first. Some people some, some people have complained about this year's collection, new writing three, although I cannot understand why. Surely 500 pages of original writing of this quality for $6.99. It's pounds. What was a pound, 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 pound? Yeah, pounds. It's pretty. It's pretty yeah. It's pretty amazing. Yes, okay. Fiction. So we are talking here about books. Fiction of both parts of novels and complete short stories makes up most of the book. There are some enjoyable pieces by famous writers such as Kanja, Mark William, and Rose Treyman. It is a strange fact that the less well-known people seem to have written mainly about food. Take my advice about James Harris, those nails. This is a piece should definitely not be read just after meals. It contains some very unpleasant scenes which could turn your stomach. Okay, next there is. There is fine work from 19 poets, including R. S. Thomas, Thomas and John Burnside. There are pieces from novels in progress by Jim Grace, Grace and Jane Rogers. Finally, finally, there is a little nonfiction which includes a very funny article by Alan Rustbridger on certain newspapers and an extraordinary piece of herself from Ursula Owen. This is an exceptional collection, and I, for one, can't wait to see what next year's chores will include. Okay, so what do you think this selection all about? Uh, like about uh, yeah, just guess on a just guess what do you think okay just imagine yourself you're in the literature class what do you think this selection all about like about the new writing three yeah yeah it's a writing so what's that what else new writing three okay what else this is the year's collections of the new writing three. Okay, what is that all about? And pretty amazing. It's 6.99 pounds. What is this? This story, this is a book. Okay, that could probably be fiction. It could be novels and complete short stories. So in this story, Q, I mean in this selection, it introduced some of the different books from different famous writers right okay have you mentioned kanja okay it's here 
there is also the, the poets in this book, like the artist Famous and John Burnside. Okay. There is also the writers in the novels, Jim Grace and Jean Rogers. And finally, there is this little nonfiction, what written by Alan Rush, uh, Rush Bridger, and of course, Ursula Owen. So as you can see in this selection, they are talking about books, fiction, and non-fiction books, okay? And together with the writers, okay? You try to remember this, try to remember, because later you will have to be asked or you will have to answer a question. It's okay if you can't make it perfect. It's okay. No problem. Okay. Next slide. Okay. It's okay now? Yes. Okay. You try this one. Okay. What's the answer for number 21? What is the writer trying to do in the text? A. It's letter A. Le A. <laughs> Dang, very good. The writer is giving her opinions about the new book. What's the new book? It's the title is yeah. New yeah, Writing, writing three. 3. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Why would somebody read a text like us? Why is it that we have to read the text? Why? A. A. To find out more details about something, to learn what's next year's collection will contain, and then to find out about Alan Rush Bridger's new novel, or to decide whether to complain about something. Okay, letter A. Yes, go. Very good. Of course, you have to find out here more details about something okay because it is okay as you can look or as you can see in this selection it's in general it's in general it talks about different books fiction non-fiction novels uh what's that a poem so it is in general so you need to find out more details about something okay next what does the writer think of the new writing three? A. Letter B, it's very amusing, teacher Anne. B. Oh, it's letter C. It's very good. It's very amusing. It could be. Okay. In such a way, new writing three, it's a book. It is very good. Your answer is correct also. It's very amusing. So. It's not mentioned in the story that it's too long. No, it's not too serious because we are locking here with the adjective. So when we say adjective, it describes about the book, right? So your answer, very amusing, correct. Very good, correct. So A and C, A and B is not the correct answer. You can pick B, you can pick C. Okay, good job. Number 24. How might you feel after reading Jane's Harris piece? How much you feel about D. that? D. Letter T. Sick. Yeah, okay, it's there. Sick. Okay. Okay, number 25. Okay. So which of the following describes new writing three? Which do you think? B. Letter B. It's the great value, the best of the new writing for only six point ninety nine pounds, teacher Anne. Okay. Letter, of course, the answer is letter B. So imagine with six point ninety nine ninety nine six point ninety nine pounds, you can wrap up everything because it's there already. Okay. Great. Wow, great job, Q. Congrats. Okay, again, perfect. Okay, now let's have 
to do the speaking. Okay, what's this? What's this? Okay, so let's move now to speaking. Okay, so I have to step to the speaking. It's speaking time. Okay, now please look at the pictures. Okay, the speaking time. You have to tell the teacher what have you seen, what have you observed, what did you feel about that? Okay. Okay, you describe what is in the picture. Mm, so there are two people here who looks like dad and son. They are having a chess game together. Maybe the dad is taking the lead and the son is trying to to be the the dad, I suppose. Okay, very good. And okay. What else? And what do you think? Look at their emotions. Can you see their faces? What can you say about their faces? Their emotions. Their emotions? Yeah, look at them. Are they happy, teacher? Are they sad? A little bit angry? What's that? I don't... Yeah. Or they are... I don't know. They, I, I just... I just didn't normal. show any emotion. Yeah. Just, just, okay. Just plain, nothing. Blank. Okay, it's plain. Nothing, teacher. It doesn't show any emotions. They're just plain, just simply an ordinary day. Okay, very good. Wow. Next one. Okay, here. Yeah. Oh, it's all. So, as you can see, because this is the last, okay, I uh, was just speaking. Okay, that is why. A uh, teacher really wants to talk with you, to talk and to talk because I can assess how good you are in writing, okay? I mean speaking. One last question, okay? Now, I will ask you about this so teacher can assess how good you are, okay? What is your idea, okay? I will ask, what is your idea about today's pandemic, COVID already, COVID-19? What is your idea about this? What has COVID brought us? COVID-19. Yes, COVID-19. Pandemic. Like, uh, too sad. Too sad. Too sad. Yes. Why? Why do you think so? Like, COVID-19 brought us a really new pandemic and many countries in the world they are trying to find a cure for it i've uh, i've heard that they've already already uh, made uh, like the first model of the cure yes. i hope that it will work yes to the bags and there's already vaccines in the philippines we already had it just uh, a week ago it started all over the philippines okay i hope oh. everything is good yeah how about there in vietnam how's the covid how's the pandemic mm. there in vietnam uh, some some place are controlled so or so i thought but there are places that uh, the panic and the number of people affected by COVID is still increasing. Is, uh, increasing, but it's it's not too much now. Okay, so maybe you're just very lucky there because in the Philippines, the COVID nineteen up until today still increasing, increasing and increasing. Especially the capital city of the Philippines in Manila. Oh my God, it's so it's so very disgusting, and a lot of people here really don't have jobs. If you have jobs today, so in the Philippines you have to be you have to take care of that. Okay, so that's why. Like so. many 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 people from other countries, especially China. Uh, try to trespass try trespassing yes okay but in china now everything is normal it's just yeah, like they're yes. not really affected <sighs> okay so do you believe the thought that the covid really from china that the virus really came from china uh, do you believe that i haven't i, I don't really know Yes. Like the the, the COVID nineteen could be 
from somewhere else. Oh right? yeah, we don't know. Yeah, don't know exactly. Yes, exactly. We really don't know exactly, right? Very good. We don't know exactly. Okay. So for now, OQ. So it means, okay. So we've talked a lot about this one. Oh my God. Yay. Okay. So it's really nice meeting you. So, and then I hope you enjoy the class today. Okay. I will ask you, do you enjoy the class today? You like it? You like the lessons? It was good. It was good, teacher. Really? Okay. Thank you. And then how about how teacher try to teach you? Is it good? Uh, yes. Is teacher boring? Is teacher? Oh, is that like that? No, you're not boring at all. Oh, I'm not boring at all, of course. And then, okay, thank you so much for today. And then I really hope, uh, Q, I'll be seeing you soon. Okay? Yeah, I hope so. Um, you will be my student. I really love I really you. Mean, yeah. Yes. I'm really busy these days, so I have to do a lot of work. Yeah, of course. My, it's okay. th my teacher just, just, uh, my teacher gave me like too much work I can't cope with. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. I'm literally dying inside right now. Oh, that's why. So you're very busy nowadays. It's okay. So just, just continue. Just continue your study and you try to study well. But what can I say after this? Teacher Anne will give an assessment towards you. If what can I say about you? How how you respond? How you? What is the result of the test? Like that. Okay. But generally. Teacher is saying that you are very good now. Your English is straight. Then I don't have any headache about that. Okay. So that good. That's good of you. And you're lucky enough that your mom sent you to school at the very early stage. Okay. Wow. So for now, teacher have to say goodbye. And I will be, I hope to see you soon in the future. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh, I have a history test tomorrow. Can you oh. pray for my scores? I haven't studied <laughs> a bit. You have oh history God. test? Oh, history is very easy. Because in the history, you don't need to change anything because the dates, because right? In the history, you have all the dates. The dates are there is already intact, so you don't need to change. That's You need I to have, have a wide memorization of yourselves. Okay, you I have to memorize. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have it. <laughs> okay, don't worry about that because all you have to do with your history is just to memorize. Okay? You memorize everything in the history. Okay? You memorize. Hey. And I'm sure you've got perfect. Okay? Okay? So Thank trust you very yourself. Much. Okay, I'm a positive person because I am a teacher. I know how it feels, right? I am a teacher. I am teaching history also. I Right now, I've got seven subjects. I've got seven subjects here. I am teaching civics. Civics, that's history. I am teaching history for grade eight already. Seven and eight, I am teaching history seven, history eight, uh, English seven, and English 8. That's English is composed of the literatures. That's why I know you. That's a very hard history. Okay, don't worry. Everything is okay. <laughs> okay? Okay, yeah. Go. It's nice meeting you, Q. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye -bye. Okay, bye-bye.